the 2025 BYD SEAL has officially been unveiled in China, marking a significant upgrade to this all-electric vehicle that aims to rival the Tesla Model 3. Equipped with an 800-volt electrical architecture, cutting-edge silicon carbide inverters, and advanced LiDAR sensors, the SEAL is set to offer more sophisticated self-driving capabilities than before. It remains built on BYD's ePlatform 3.0 EVO, but now comes with two battery options, a 61.4 kWh pack and a new 80.6 kWh battery, which replaces the previous 82.5 kWh unit. While BYD has crammed more advanced technology into the refreshed seal, it has resulted in a slight reduction in range. The smaller 61.4 kWh battery now offers a Chinese CLTC range of 510 km, down from 550 km, while the 80.6 kWh long-range battery sees a dip to 650 km from 700 km. There's no confirmation yet on how these numbers will translate to the stricter WLTP cycle, but in Australia, the SEAL's driving range stands at 460 km and 570 km for the two respective battery configurations. One of the most significant improvements in the 2025 SEAL is its faster charging times, thanks to the new 800V architecture. Charging from 10 to 80% now takes just 25 minutes, a significant improvement from the previous 37 minutes. Performance upgrades have also been made across the range, with the base version now featuring a single motor that delivers 170 kilowatts of power and 330 newton meters of torque, an increase of 20 kilowatts and 20 newton meters. The rear-wheel drive model continues to offer strong performance, while the dual motor variant steps up to 230 kilowatts and 360 newton meters of torque. For those seeking top-tier performance, the BYD SEAL Performance model comes equipped with dual motors producing a combined 390 kilowatts and 670 newton meters of torque. This high output variant can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.8 seconds, putting it in line with high-performance EVs like the Tesla Model 3 Performance. The 2025 SEAL is not just about power and speed, it also benefits from an improved chassis. BYD has integrated its Dysis C chassis technology, which employs variable damping shock absorbers with electronically controlled valves. This tech is designed to offer a smoother ride while maintaining agility, making the SEAL a more comfortable and responsive car to drive. Inside, the cabin of the refreshed SEAL has received significant updates. It now features a four-spoke flat-bottom steering wheel and an updated version of BYD's unique rotating infotainment system. The center console has been simplified, with fewer physical buttons, and the air conditioning vents have been cleverly hidden to enhance the minimalist design. The inclusion of wireless charging pads adds further convenience. A new wave graphic in front of the driver and updated seat patterns add a fresh aesthetic, with coral orange seats becoming a new interior color option. Safety has been boosted with 13 airbags now standard across the range, and a new head-up display is included for enhanced driver awareness. The BYD SEAL also gains advanced autonomous driving features with the introduction of a LiDAR sensor. This new sensor enhances the car's self-driving capabilities, bringing it to level 2 plus automation, which includes high-speed and urban driverless features. However, it stops short of offering full level 3 autonomy, where drivers can completely take their eyes off the road. In China, the updated BYD SEAL is already on sale and comes at a lower price than its predecessor. The new model ranges from 75,800 yuan, $37,220, to 239,800 yuan, $50,770, representing a price decrease of between 400 yuan, $850, and 10,000 yuan, $2,120, depending on the variant. In Australia, where the BYD seal is currently priced from $49,888 plus on-road costs, it's expected that the upgraded model will arrive by the end of 2024. The SEAL Premium and SEAL Performance models are also available, priced at $55,798 and $65,748, respectively. With these upgrades, BYD is aiming to close the gap between its third best-selling EV and the Tesla Model 3, which has outsold the SEAL with 13,539 units sold in the first seven months of 2024 compared to the SEAL's 4,662 units. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love hearing your thoughts and insights, so don't forget to share your comments and feedback in the comments section below. Your engagement means a lot to us, 
and it keeps the conversation going. If you enjoyed today's content and want to stay updated with the latest news, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss out on any future updates.